Hello Scorpio, welcome to your elemental love reading. This is going to be for Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And cross watchers are welcome. I do want to let you know that this is intended to be timeless, so whenever you find yourself here, this is when you were meant to see it. That is how I set the intentions. And this is going to be a general message, so please take what resonates, leave what does not. Don't try to make anything fit. Check your moon, rising, and own Venus signs for additional messages or to get a comprehensive overview. And please never make any life-altering decisions based off of a general reading because not all the informations or energies would be available to you. So if you're looking for something specific or tailored to your situation, please do get a private reading. And for me, that information is in the detail box down below. All right, so now that that disclaimer is taken care of, we are going to take a look here. Or obviously cancer scorpio at your energies today for those of you are that are new welcome to the channel please do subscribe to get your energies in the mix but what we do is if, you, if you're new to elemental love readings is we take a look at you scorpio your person and the energies shared between you past present which is current energies and then future energies coming in get clarifiers as needed all right, and then we at the end, we pull a couple of romance angels, some manifest cards, and a oracle guidance card. All right, so let's go ahead and just jump right into your reading here. So coming through for you, and the past position is judgment. So there's something that you, in the past, that you made a final judgment call on. You made peace with the past. You moved forward. Some of you, this could have been towards reconciliation, but this is just, you know, really the energy of moving forward. Okay, so your person, they have the Empress. So you could have been dealing with a Taurus. This for me, this is Taurus and Aries. doesn't have to be, though. But the Empress is um, somebody who is very nurturing energy. This is the divine feminine energy here. This is somebody who is, it has the ability to create new beginning is what I'm also um, feeling the energy of. Shared energy between you. This is a higher front Taurus energy. Um... You know, this, you know, this is for fire signs, so this is for people in connection, I meant to say that in the very beginning, um, with a, a fire sign or seeking connection with a fire sign, so a Leo, a Sagittarius, or an Aries, but it does not mean that there's not Taurus somewhere in the charts here, but this is definitely, um, for, for some of you, I feel like this was your divine feminine energy or your divine feminine, and um, there was, you know, the energy between you was um, commitment. And there was a judgment call being made um, in the past for you, Scorpio, about a commitment. All right, let's take a look at present energies. Nine of Cups, very nice, Scorpio. This is, you know, being focused on yourself, self-love. Your wishes come true to, um, that overflowing feel of having everything that you need. Happy in career, happy in life, happy in love, having friends and families to share your triumphs triumph at times with and to support you in times of turbulence. Very, very nice. Wish fulfillment coming coming through there. And this is current energy. Okay, and your person, um, they're feeling the five of pentacles energy. So this is kind of feeling rejected, left out in the cold, abandoned, lost. They may be, you know, suffering some some um, emotional or even financial loss here. This could be them as well feeling a bit ill and under the weather. And for some of you, I'm getting that sense, actually. And shared energy between you is the Queen of Wands. Very, very nice. Um, this is definitely passion. There's passion shared between you. You both have passion for each other. Um, for some of you, I get the sense that this could be somebody that is very charismatic, and um, a bit, but a bit mysterious as well. Future energy is coming through for you. We have the Three of Swords, and before everybody like clicks off, let's get some clarifiers on that. And for them, they have the Seven of Pentacles, so this speaks to divine timing, seeing what's possible for growth and expansion here. Wanting to reap a reward for effort put in, or wanting to put in effort to get to reward. Shared energy between you is Three of Cups, reconciliation, reasons to celebrate. Overall energy, we have the Star very nice is staying in hope and balance and having faith and keeping your eyes on that prize 
through the chaos, through the turmoil, towards through the ups and downs and the trials and tribulations and not losing focus. I love it. Very beautiful. And hidden energy here is the King of Pentacles, Earth energies. But this is somebody who is solid, stable, um, financially well off, not necessarily rich, but comfortable. Um, they don't take unnecessarily risk, and they're not very good with showing their emotions here. This speaks to stability. So let's kind of get some clarifiers here, Spirit Team. Can we please clarify the cards on the board? For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is this judgment? In the past position for Scorpio, please. Please show me very carefully. Thank you. Ace of Pentacles, yeah, so you were making a final judgment call because there was a new opportunity coming in for you, and you may have had, you know, this might have been very quick, this, you know, very quick movement is what I'm getting with the suns, yeah, and there was a sense of timing, so this was definitely a new opportunity was being extended to you, so you had to make a, a decision, a, a judgment call was needed here in the past, let's see, by the Empress is here. In the past position, please. Clarify the Empress on Moon Rising Venus. Four. Thank you, Scorpio. Yeah, the Knight of Wands. Sagittarian energy here. Yeah, and there's that communication, that forward movement. They they may have come towards you. I'm getting okay, I'm getting this. So they may have come towards you very, very quickly. Come riding in on, you know, riding up on that uh that horse may offering you a new opportunity, wanting a new beginning, another chance here, and this needed a judgment call in regards to commitment. And I get a feeling that this is was suddenly was very sudden, very quick. Why is the higher font here? A shared energy between Scorpio and their person past position, please. Why is the higher font here? Clarify, please. Thank you. The Eight of Cups. Yeah. So what I am getting, there you are, Scorpio. Um, you're kind of showing up as the Queen of Queen of Cups here, but there was this sense of intuition. You, you, there, you know, I'm getting the Eight of Cups with a higher font. So this was, you know, trying needing to make a decision, making a judgment call between commitment and walking away. I feel like you had to follow your intuition. I feel like some of you may have walked away from this connection. Others of you, this person came in riding very quickly and almost impulsively by the seat of their pants, making this you know offer of it for commitment. So there was a question here between, some of you this could have been a marriage proposal, some of you this could have been you know, actually um, wanting to move in together. And there was a sense, and some of you could be married, and there was a decision about wanting to continue the marriage. Um, that won't apply for all of you. But you know, there was a sense where I feel like there was, a, you know, this judgment call being made between whether to stay in this commitment or make this commitment or walk away. All right, so let's see what we have here for the Nine of Cups. Present energy, please, for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Please show me clearly and precisely why is the Nine of Cups here for Scorpio. Yep, there's that star. Yeah, that's that staying focused, staying on task. This is wish fulfillment. The universe is granting your wish because of something that happened in the past is what I'm getting. This could be, you know, a wish regarding a past person for some of you, but you're definitely got wish fulfillment on the horizon currently for you. All right, let's see why your person feels the Five of Pentacles. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? For Scorpio's person. Thank you. Yeah, the Four of Swords. Some of you definitely walked away from this partnership. I feel there is this distance between you and, um, this person really feels lost is what I'm getting without you. And they are really trying. They're spending a lot of time alone. A lot of us are. But this is them trying to heal. If you have not gone into separation, though, what I'm getting the sense is there is this physical 
distance that like even though you may be in the same house in the same room there is this distance that's growing between you and this first person feels at a loss they're trying to figure out how to heal the situation i feel like they're spending time a lot of time thinking on this scorpio really thinking on this trying to figure out how to heal this connection all right so why is the queen of wands the shared energy here page of pentacles so both of you have a lot of passion for each other there you are and wanting this wanting stability here is what i'm getting wanting stability wanting to have a solid grounded truthful offer okay so let's see why you have the three of swords future energy future energy please why is the three of swords here okay not taking all those the moon I'm getting okay see I told you not to click off yet because this will make sense oh my all right sorry about that so we're getting the three of swords and what's clarifying it is the six of cups and the moon and what I'm going to I'll go out on a limb here and say is the future energy coming in is you being fearful um, you being caught up in your shadow side about past heartbreak and pain really caught there's going to be a like i'm getting a fog confusion you're not going to know how to see your way past this this is this is energy that's going to hold you back is what i'm getting yeah it's going to have you juggling because you're focused on what was lost and not at the new beginning that is at hand here nice okay so Let's go to the Seven of Pentacles. Why is it here for Scorpio's person? Yeah, the Three of Cups. They're wanting to see. Yeah, Eight of Cups, or Eight of Coins at the bottom here, Eight of Pentacles. They are working, like, over time. They're working hard here. They are wanting to grow and expand. They want to reap rewards with you. They know there is a sense of timing, but they're putting in work because they want to reconcile this with you. And you're wanting to reconcile with them, but this past heartbreak and pain is what is holding you back here. So let's clarify this Three of Cups. It's a shared energy between Scorpio and their person. Why is it here? Why is it here? Thank you the magician yeah you both are manifesting what happened to my card there you both are manifesting this reconciliation and you're wanting to communicate it to each other and i believe both of you will communicate this very very beautiful energy here so what i'm seeing overall is we have a situation where there's a lot of fear-based energy here on your side um Scorpio where you know you're really caught up in this pain in the past but you do have a wish you know wish fulfillment coming in here you have the ability to be granted a wish from the universe you're burning stability you have passion for this person this person's trying to figure out how to heal this and fix this with you because they want to grow and expand with you they want to reconcile both of you are manifesting a reconciliation here very very nice so let's get a couple of romance angels for you Okay, we're getting let go of control issues allow the situation to unfold naturally we are getting engagement your love life is ascending to a higher higher level of commitment which we see in there with the with the past offer on the table for some of you and children your love life is being affected by children so this could be, you know, childhood issues raising up here. This could be actual physical children between you. Some of you may be pregnant um, or going to be pregnant. This could be a disagreement about having children. 
Um, but this, you know, there isn't a, children are involved in this in some way, shape, or form, or childhood, past relationships also. But somebody's trying to control the outcome here, and they definitely need to release that control um, and allow this to flow naturally, and, and um, that could be your person is what I'm getting, Scorpio, because they want this desperately. They really do. But they need to allow this, you to come to your own terms with this. Okay. I'm um, getting two cards through. Here we have you are spiritually connected to the one you love. Yes, yeah, some of you, this is your twin flame, which we've seen with religious path, which was not your reading. So some of you are connected with your person. Um, some of you, this is also allowing you to know that your past on loved ones are with you at this time and guiding you. They're spiritually connected to you. Um, they love you and they are definitely guiding you. And never make permanent decisions based on temporary feelings. It's just this heartbreak, pain, and fear. Alright, so let's get one oracle card here for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus to close out this message. Yeah, it's very nice. We've got wait for winter. During the colder months, the fairy queen of winter will help you manifest your most heartfelt wishes as long as your intentions are for the highest good. So some of you, this won't manifest for you until winter. Some of you, it may be sooner than that. But since we're all in this holding pattern right now, um, a lot of the, I'm getting a lot of readings where the cards are coming out, wait for winter wait for fall. So let's hope that uh, things start to improve. But this is what I have for you. I hope it was helpful. Please do remember to give a like and join your energies by subscribing. Let me know in the comments down below if this resonated with you. And as always, please do take care. Stay safe. Remember to live in light and love, not just today, but every day. Thanks. Bye for now.